Lucas Media. So Nelly recently did an interview and he came out to say that his era, which was the 2000s era, was the toughest era ever um, in hip hop. Quote, my music, the air, my era of music was the toughest era in hip hop ever. When I put out songs, I had to go against DMX, Jay-Z, Eminem, Lil Wayne, 50 Cent, Luda. All of us was fighting for the number one spot, no pun intended. Now, here's my uh, my thoughts on it, right? I kind of agree, and I'm not trying to be biased because I grew up in that era, but it was, it was like it was hit after hit after hit. Um... Look at all the all the shows that came out back in the day. The uh, Rap City Top Ten. You had Rap City The Basement. Y'all remember See The World? <laughs> Hits from the streets. And even some of them had made it over to TRL with Carson Daly. I do agree that like it was just between like the late 90s and mid 2000s. You had to come with it. That was the era of the super producers. The Timberlands, Pharrell's. Um... Even Kanye's. Who else? I'm drawing a blank right now, but y- y'all get the point. Oh, Just Blaze. That was the era of like the super producers. Yeah, you had Dre and them in the 90s, but it was like when you heard a song and you heard the um, Just Blaze, you knew it was going to probably be a smash. Oh, you heard Timberland drop something. You know, he dropped a wordplay or whatever out on the song. You knew it was going to be a smash. Like, you just knew that it was going to be a smash. So, I get what he's saying. I wonder, well, and this is my opinion, but I feel like that was kind of like the golden age of uh, of rap music because Pocknam had just, you know, crossed over into history, and it was like, Everybody was looking for who's going to pick up the baton and you seen the J and X's and and um, the Nelly. It was like people just picked it up and, and went to 50 Cent. People picked it up and went to a whole nother level. You know, then you that's when you started seeing artists come out with, with all the clothing lines. I know Biggie had the Brooklyn. Man. Yeah, so and then even with uh, Wu-Tang, Wu-Wear and all of that. Yeah, I get it, but. It was like when when everybody else came out with clothing lines, they it went to the next level. Like right when Fat Farm them came out, you just saw it. Now, one thing that I will say, Nelly, the 2010s, I ain't never seen nothing like that. When the drill era came, that's why I'm like, is, are, are you just talking about just music? Because, yeah, you know, in the early 2000s, you heard things. But when Drill came, Rap came out, you saw it in real time on video. And this is when the internet was kind of still uncut to a degree as far as like YouTube and other platforms. So you were seeing it in real time a lot of times. So that's all. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I get what he's saying, but I'm sorry. That 2010s era, that Drill Rap, I ain't never seen nothing like that. They was dissing the they was dissing the dead on camera. Then some of them will pass away, and you got other people on there joking about the people who passed away, and then they will pass away, and yeah, it, it, it that's when it started getting out of control. So, I mean, they, in my opinion, they can say they air might have been the hardest when it comes to that. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.